what's going on everyone my name is Dominic Delgado welcome back to the channel and to another video in today's video I wanted to talk about plug power ticker symbol PLUG in my past video I did mention plug power being a potential gainer in the airline industry and as of today we did see this wish come true this is some great news for the future bounce up in the stock price Along with that, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the class action lawsuit that is being filed against Plug Power and how this could be a potential drop in the near term. But with all short term drops, there is tend to be a fear in the market when this does happen. And this is usually when it enters the oversold territory. And with that, that's when you see the stock price usually jump back up to where it should be trading at. Some other things I want to talk about in today's video was the new DOE, which is the Department of Energy and how they have a new head appointed. On top of that, the stimulus package that was passed today and will be seeing a signature from Biden in the short term this week. The overall implementation and plans for plug power to get into the airline industry and how they will make it work. And lastly, some final stock overview with the price prediction and the upgrade from analyst. So the overall stock has been looking pretty good. We were sitting around the 23 hit all time highs of 74. And with the past couple of weeks with the market being in the red, we have had a pullback to 3811 as of today. After hours, we did come up to the 39 range. What I usually say is when in doubt, scroll out and we can come back to the six month range draw a quick estimate for the trend line. And as you see back at the $11 mark, all the way to this main resistance and key support level, which we did break, we have seen an overall trend coming with this line here. We did have the major spike up with all the news that came out in this month. So this overall pullback was a good sign for the company. Now, if we were to continue to follow this line for the next couple of months, we could easily hit this $74 all time high again in the future. When looking at plug power, though, this is a long term hold, which means a three to five year hold. And this is because we are not experiencing a high change into the hydrogen market yet. So with the overall sell off of almost 50 percent of the stock, if you do have some in this range here, you can go ahead and load up for almost the same price. If you are a new time investor, I would wait a couple of days and see how the market plays out for a potential buy-in opportunity. Taking a look at the plug class action notice, this was a file security fraud lawsuit against plug power. And this pertains to the people who bought the shares of plug power from November 9th, 2020 to March 1st, 2021. So what exactly happened on March 2nd, 2021, before the market opened, plug filed a notification of late filing with the SEC stating that it would continue to timely file its annual report for the period ending December 31st, 2020 because the company was completing a review and assessment of the treatment of certain costs with regards to classification between research and development versus costs and goods sold, the recoverability of right of use assets associated with certain leases and certain internal controls over these and other areas, the company stated that it is possible that one or more of these items may result in charges of adjustments to current and or prior period financial statements. So what this is saying is since they didn't have technically all their numbers in place when they were supposed to have for the filing of their earnings report, some numbers that get lost in transaction being misplaced in different areas. And this overall made the earnings report look worse than what they actually were. So with this, we did see major drop offs each day. We had a 7% decrease and then another 19.4% decrease. And this is over a three day span, which ended up at the close of 39.30 per share on March 5th, which was last Friday. So they say the complaint filed is in the class action alleges that throughout the class period, defendants made materially false and or misleading statements, as well as failed to disclose material, advise facts and company's business operations. So the first off, the company would be unable to timely file its 2020 annual report for quarter four. On top of that, the company was reasonably likely to report material weakness in its internal control over financial reporting. And lastly, the result of foregoing defendants positive statements about the company's business operations and prospects were materially misleading and or lacked of reasonable basis. So with this acquisition, we can see potential more drop off in the following days. But like I said, when there's usually class action lawsuits, there's mostly sell offs due 
from fear and this tends to go into the oversold areas which would be a great time to buy in at. So some good news that I did talk about in my last video, I said how they are transitioning to newer um, resources they can get into with different companies and sectors. And I did mention how we talked about the airline industry. We did see the hydrogen pioneer step up plans to convert regional airliners. So why is this significant for plug power? Well, this is because plug power has become a minority shareholder in universal hydrogen, expanding its partnership with the startup to provide hydrogen. The initial $1 million investment with an option to increase that amount should allow universal hydrogen to meet its goal of completing construction of a subscale hydrogen powertrain during the second quarter of this year. Uh, this is very significant too because this company here is also a fairly new company which started in 2020 and although a million dollar investment is pretty small for plug power itself it could be a substantial amount for this other company so they are expanding their alliance with the global supply agreement for plug power to distribute hydrogen supplies to aircraft initially the company will supply around 500 tons of hydrogen each day from the five distribution points across the u.s by 2024 the volume is roughly equivalent to a million gallons of jet fuel. Uh, and this is the first confirmed location of the storage facilities, including Rochester, New York, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and Fort Worth. And what is great about this as well, that they don't have to make any substantial amount of changes to the aircrafts. We can see that the hydrogen capsules will be loaded into the rear of the aircraft and placed in a compartment, replacing the last two rows of passenger seats. As I talked about in this article as well, they will be starting small with a 40 to 60 passenger aircraft and eventually moving on to bigger aircrafts. So the plumbing lines will run from the capsules through the aircraft's dorsal fins into each of the two nacelles, which fuel cells and electric motors will be installed to power the aircraft's existing propellers. Essentially moving the fuel pumps for the jet fuel and replacing them with pumping systems for the hydrogen. So we could potentially see a short term jumpstart with this hydrogen play. As of today, the DOE, which is the Department of Energy, has a 40 billion loan program and they did just uh, ahead this man here, Jagar Shaha. And this is great news because we do know he is a very well handed man for the renewable energy sector and the DOE's loan program office and affirmed that the agency's more than $40 billion in loan guarantee authority will play an important role in the DOE's push to commercialize technologies to help meet the Biden administration's aggressive decarbonization goals. And with the commercial we see in the aircrafts with plug power. This can significantly increase the transition from gasoline over to the renewable energy sectors. So along with the bleeding of the market for the past couple of weeks, a good roundabout for the market to turn around is this bill that was passed with a $1.9 trillion stimulus. Biden is expected to sign this bill either tomorrow at the soonest or at the latest by this Sunday, meaning the fears of inflation will hopefully go down again. The overall increase that we have seen, the strong buy is for 11 buys, one hold and one sell. The newest price increase we have seen was from Craig, and this was a 115% increase as of where it's at today at a $82 buy call. So this is a short-term outlook. We could potentially see the stock back up to the $82 range. And going back to when I was pointing out the trend line, you can see that it could potentially go up to this spot in the short term. Now, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Also, go ahead and put what ticker symbol you'd like me to go over in the next video. This week, I will also be making an update video on bio nanogenomics and palantir so stick around for those two after you guys in today's video if you'd enjoy go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you guys in the next video